What up, YouTube? You already know, Big Lou, the Latin assassin. Tapping back in one more again with what it do with Big Lou. NFZR2, baby, baby. If it's the first time you're coming to the channel, it'd be highly appreciated if you sub, like, and share the channel with your family, friends, folks, people, gente, buddies, pals, amigos, amigos. And like us, Puerto Ricanos, Boricuas, Jibarritos, Potorros, PRs, Ricans, say, Panas. Um, be sure to also, on top of hitting that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification and all. That way you're uh, alerted anytime this channel drops anything. A shorts, a uh, new pre-recorded video like this here, or going live like I am in about 15 minutes excuse me this is going to be a real short video this video here is going to fall under the prison reform uh, it falls under prison reform as far as category what the video is about but you know a lot of people are going to have different opinions on the topic and who the individual is so um this is an individual that has been down since 1991. Uh, he's currently 88 or 89 years old. Um, so he's having some health issues now. And he's, like I said, he's been down since 91. So he's been down over three decades. Um, I don't believe he's actually down for a murder. I believe everything he's down for is conspiracies um, to either murder or commit murder. But nothing actually hands on himself. Um but this is none other than the alleged, the alleged current boss of one of the five families of New York, Vittorio, aka Little Vic Amuso. Um, so you guys are not aware, uh, Amuso was allegedly the boss. Anthony Gaspipe Caso was allegedly the underboss. They caught wind that there was going to be an indictment coming down, and these guys took off on the lamb. Um, and then they appointed an acting boss, little R a little Al Diarco as the acting boss. Um, but these guys were bumping off people and having people, uh, attempted to be bumped off. Um, even while they were in the lamb, if you guys don't know what the lamb means, that means basically on the run hiding out. Um, uh, he was picked up, I believe, in New Jersey or in Philadelphia, or excuse me, New Jersey or Connecticut or Pennsylvania. It's one of those three states. And gas pipe was picked up later in 93 or 94, um, also in one of those states. So these two individuals were picked up in two of those three states. Um, but it was, from what I read, uh, Amuso believed that gas pipe Caso tipped off the authorities on his whereabouts because he he got picked up a couple years before gas pipe got picked up and then of course gas pipe kept the you know the nonsense going the shenanigans going the killings going after Amuso was busted and um you know by that point Amuso was I mean excuse me Caso was you know pretty much running the family you know what I'm saying but if you guys don't know <clears throat> Caso ended up flipping um he put he was put in the witness protection program and then on i believe it was a few things that got him kicked out was uh the fact that he was you know paying guards to bring food in supposedly and then he paid another guard to stash him clothes like in a restroom area where he got almost all the way out of the of the federal holding building and um one of the things i believe that got him screwed up was the fact that he told some truths about sammy the little devil gravano and the government was like, you know, that's our star witness against Gotti. We want to put Gotti away. You know, we want Gotti that bad. We're willing to make a deal. The deal of the century, you know what I'm saying, with the little rat. I mean, excuse me, the little devil. Um, On his testimony and everything, he's given up to put away Gotti. And what one of the things was, Castle said back in the 70s that he was in business with Gravano um, when they had the big oil tankers and they were bringing in a bunch of weed and stuff like that. And Gravano's always claimed to never have been a drug dealer. You know what I mean? So they couldn't have Caso get on the stand and say, uh, you know, contradict what Gravano's already said. So 
I look, I got off a little bit off topic, but that's, you know, he's still part of the story, uh, Caso. So Amuso, like I said, you know, they, they, these guys were having, you know, dreams, uh, that guys were cooperating and they would try to kill him or have him killed. And, uh, they weren't cooperating, uh, B big fat Pete Chiodo is one of them, um, that I'm thinking of that was, you know, they attempted to kill him, but because he was so heavy, they said a lot of the fat, you know, protected him from dying. Um, and then, but what they did was they ended up going after his sister, which is a very, it's not a practice that's used with the Italians, uh, you know, here in the United States. And they went after his sister, shot her. And I believe she's still paralyzed to this day. Um, you know, then Pete, Fat Pete decided to cooperate after an attempt on his life and an attempt on his sister's life. Um, so anyways, back to the prison reform. Now, you got a Musso, like I said, he's 88 or 89 years old. He's been down 32 years, um, but not for an actual murder, like, a, you know, a murder he committed. It's all conspiracy stuff, you know, Rico stuff, stuff like that. Um, so basically they have an edict out about no killing no more, right? Now they, they decide to put guys on the shelf instead of get killing them. Uh, it's been like that for a few years now. Um, so if he was get to get released, I mean, you know, I mean, obviously he's still getting money, right? If they say he's the alleged boss still, I don't know if he is or not, obviously. Um, I'm not going to even touch on any of that because uh, I don't know, for one. For two, it really don't have nothing to do with the story. I mean, it does in the fact of the government, you know, saying that, yeah, we'll release him, you know, but that's what's going to be the, that's probably going to be the deciding factor to not release him is the fact is they're saying, the government, you know, the feds are still saying, the FBI is saying that he's still the boss of, of one of the five families. Uh, uh, you know, but then you have another guy named Bobby Manna, Lewis Bobby, Lewis Bobby Manna of New Jersey, who they say was a high ranking official of one of the other families of New York, which they call the West Side. Um, he's 91 years old now. And he's been down about 34 years, something like that. Um, 33 years, 34 years for a conspiracy to murder John Gotti, which never happened, but yet this man's locked up for it and still locked up for it till this day. Now, his story is a little different because he's not actually having any involvement with that Borgata anymore, the, the West Side, right? So, he, I mean, I believe he sh that man should be released. Let him go home, let his family take care of him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even with Vic Musso, I believe he should be released too, because like I said, man, they have a no kill uh, edict right now that's been passed down uh, through New York City, you know, so I mean, it's not like he can't communicate anyways, you know what I'm saying? He's 88, 89 years old. I believe his wife's already passed. His brother's passed. Many of the people that were very close to him have passed. You know, like I said, he's 88, 89 years old. You know, he's pushing a 90 years old. Um, uh, you know, I know they say he has some health problems. I'm not sure exactly what, what he has. Uh, but the picture that I'm going to put, the picture that's there in the thumbnail, uh, the individual, Vic Amuso is the smaller man to the left. And then the guy that's next to him with the full head of hair, that is uh, Vic, little Vic Arena, who was at one time acting boss of another family from New York City. Um, and he's like 88, 89, 87 years old. And he has, uh, I know he had dementia at one time, but I believe he has Alzheimer's now where he's literally got to be fed. He's got to be changed, all that. And he's been down 32 years, 34 years. You know what I mean? He's been down since the early 90s as well. Um, let the man go home. Let him go die at home. Let this family take care of him. Why, Why? you know, these type of inmates that they have, you know, it's, it's costing the you know, the taxpayers a lot of money because it costs a lot of money to take care of these guys. You got to have a round the clock, 20, pretty much 24 hour nurse. You know, they got to be fed. They got to be changed. They got to be bathed. They got to be everything when they're in that type of condition. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Vic Arena. Um, I think Vic Amuso has more of his faculties in place. Nonetheless, he has a lot of health issues as well. And I believe he's in uh, North Carolina, uh, Butner Medical Facility. Um, there's been guys on YouTube that came out 
talked about being around him. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, he's he's a cool guy, you know, whatever. Uh, but the fact is, he's an old man. And, and, you know, three decades plus he's been locked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. I think he should be released. Maybe put strong, you know, strong uh, uh, measures, you know, as far as his uh, uh, special conditions and things like that. As far as visitors, uh, you know, it's got to be blood family. Maybe those type of, you know, provisions need to be put in place. But nonetheless, let his kids take care of him. Let his grandkids take care of him. You know, let the family take care of him. You know, let them, you know, between the siblings, uh, you know, his siblings, uh, not his siblings, but his kids, the siblings, you know, his children. Let them take, you know, pass uh, take turns with them. Let his grandkids take turns with them. You know, at that age, that's just you're just getting up there, way up there in age, and and you know, with these provisions in place, you know, you'll be able to, uh, you know, if he is involved with any shenanigans, you'll catch him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't believe he will be. I believe, you know, I'm not even going to speak on that. What I believe, but I mean, I I'll just say I don't believe he will be. Um. A lot of those federal laws need to be changed. Uh, they need to be repealed and replaced. Um, some of those laws are just ridiculous. You know what I mean? Here, you don't even hurt nobody. It's not a violent crime. But the fact is, you got some dope and you got a couple of guns. You know, the first one's like five years. The second one's 20 years or something like that. Just because you have it. Um, you know, all that, that them type of laws. You know, uh, uh, powder, coke, is you get less time than if you have it rocked up. Uh you know, those type of things. It's just a lot of, and there's way more laws that need to be changed than that. Those are just a couple that I threw out there that I can think of right now. You know, again, these are federal crimes. I'm not real, real, real familiar with federal crimes. I've only done state time. Uh, but I've heard Chad Mark speak about things many times. I've heard Robert Russell speak about things um, when it comes to those, those, those things I mentioned. You know what I mean? But that's just a little video. People's, I'm about to go live right now on the, uh, live stream i haven't been live for a while so i'm looking forward to going on there i don't know i might just be on 20 minutes 30 minutes it depends uh what kind of crowd i get in there so with that being said big lou tapping out